What is up guys? So, I haven't made a video in a while. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of stuff that's even remotely video quality. But, you know, stuff happens. I haven't really been doing a whole lot. So, uh, just a quick update real quick on uh, everything. Beans motor is still in. We got the intake manifold off. We haven't really done much with that since the last video. Everything's still just kind of chilling out here. But we're still waiting on the other guy to get the motor pulled that he's going to be putting in here. So we're not in like a big rush. He's not in a big rush. This car hasn't, besides the drive here, it hasn't seen the road in like two years. But today with Ella, what I'm going to do is put this fuel kit in. I got it from STM. I just got everything from STM. I had to get this uh, adapter for my stock fuel line to go to a dash, I believe it's dash six, dash six or dash eight. I forget which one goes in to the fuel line. And then this whole kit from STM is their Busher Racing double pumper kit, which comes with a, a welding fuel filter and all the hosing and all the uh, AN fittings to run the double pumper kit that I got used. from a guy so what I'm going to do is replace all of these these little fuel lines here with some new stuff that I got I just replace that and then I have to figure out what what the hell goes on here I've never installed a double pumper kit the only thing I obviously do know is that uh, both the fuel pumps will go right here and I'm obviously you know those need replaced then I need to figure out how how this thing gets power, how the pumps get the power, like how all that happens. And then I have to run this vacuum switch that will turn the other pump on a certain vacuum. Uh, from what I've been reading, it's like 6 or 8 PSI, I think it turns the other fuel pump on. I'm not 100% on that, but we'll find out. I want to do redo some of this this wiring. It looks like it's just it's like a giant mess. So I wouldn't mind redoing it. I'm trying to figure something out with this keeping it all nice and clean, keeping the connectors good on that. Might just have to throw some electrical tape around that. I'm not sure yet. But that is what's going on today. Obviously I mean, obviously I have the car jacked up uh, what this fuel kit this this full fuel line it goes from the pumps and it's a whole like I said I can't remember if it's a dash six or dash eight but it's a, a feed line that will run from the tank the whole way up to the actual rail so it will replace this everything from here back so I'll be getting rid of all the hard lines underneath the car, the feed hard lines away from the car, or from the car. So um, I'll try to get some footage of me not knowing what the hell is going on, and hopefully it turns out good.
So guys, I got the double pumper kit all put together, soldered all the wires, everything. Should be everything good. Uh, the only thing I'll have to install will be the hob switch. So I'll have to continue running the power wire, then run this to a ground, then find a good boost line to uh, tap into. I put the fuel pump in, or the pumps in, I guess. Uh, then I was trying to figure out how everything went together with here. Um, I got the fuel filter, everything lined up good in here. But then my problem was whenever I got the Y fitting, I believe STM sent me the wrong fitting. I believe this is a negative 12 to a negative 6 AN when the actual Y pipe or Y thing is a negative 10. So I contacted them and told them that I believe that I got the wrong part, which almost positive I did. I just searched the part number for on Summit Racing for a negative or a dash 10 to dash 6 line. Found it and it should be here tomorrow or Wednesday and it was like 16 bucks. So whatever, I'm just going to wait around to see what uh, STM says about my issue here. And hopefully that one that I did order is the correct size. Find out uh, today or, or tomorrow or the next day. And the fun, uh, I think, other thing I got done after I unlocked the car. The, as you can see, the kit is in. What I need to figure out what to do next is how I'm getting these lines installed. Um, what I might end up doing is, since these are barb fittings on the new AN lines and off the pump, I might just run some Gates biofuel stuff biofuel lines just straight from here and run those lines down past the tank and then end up running them into here instead of trying to figure out a way to run these whole lines down uh, down through I'm thinking that might be the best bet should should work fine since there are kits with the the actual if you don't buy the used double pumper, it will actually come with just two, uh, I believe it's 5 sixteenths is the stock lines. It just comes with two, two lines, one's longer than the other, and it has a Y, and it connects back here where this uh, stock line goes into. It's somewhere back in here, and then it goes to a hard line, goes down, and there's like another, another one of these quick disconnects, and it's a hard line the rest of the way. But... What we have down here is literally no room whatsoever for like anything because these lines come up in this area. I, actually, I think it's right here. I forget. Oh, wait, no. It's up here. So the lines are coming from up here. And then come down from here and then go up to the front of the car as you can see I have the dash 8 line ran up front it's actually plugged into the to the fuel rail I have all that all that uh, wired up I still have the stock fuel line attached up there for the time being but what I want to get done first is Get these lines fed down and like I said earlier if I just run those two those two five sixteenths lines down at least a little bit and then I can take the other fittings the dash six lines 
I can take the dash six lines and obviously chop them to not be, you know, two foot long and make it work. So that's the adventures today since I didn't get it done yesterday. So I'm going for gold. All right, so obviously I got the fuel pump assembly all together. I don't have everything tightened down yet, but I do have the new lines going um, down underneath the car. I forget which one's which, but you know, one of these is the primary, one of these is the secondary. Got one line going down this way, one line going up and around and down. Uh, I still have to, I'm going to tap into my relay here, my hardwire relay for the ground, and then I'm just, instead of tapping, I can't tap, actually, I'm not sure, no. Um, I won't be able to tap this into my power for the hard line. I'll have to run this line up next to it, which shouldn't be too hard. And then that is for the hob switch to turn the secondary pump on. So what I'll have to do is I'm going to fix this mess I got going on here. But obviously this one is the power line. It has the inline fuse on it. So I'll just run a clamp or some sort of fitting on that or I might just solder it just say screw it and then this will be a ground I believe yes so that'll be for that and then just got to find a boost source to tap it into uh, probably not sure where I'm gonna use for that yet but I'll find something. Then, yeah, that'll be that'll be everything for that. The only thing I'll have to do is get these lines chopped to line up to the Y block. Run, find a place to mount the Y block. Run some hose. Put my filter in there, and then. Just gotta tidy it up then at that point. I already have it ran from the top, or from the fuel rail, back. So, pretty much just cleaning things up at this point, guys. And, well yeah, then I'll have to change my fuel pressure too. I would, I would assume that fuel pressure is gonna be off. So, that's what's going on. All right, so since I'm shitty at keeping the camera on, I got the lines all lined up. Got the Y mounted, ran the dash eight up to my fuel filter, rest of the way. Then as you seen earlier, everything's up to the, underneath the hood. Took it for a test drive, didn't see any leaks. So, should be good. I'm going to try to, if it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'm gonna to fill up with um, E85, give that a go. She runs, I don't know if the second fuel pump actually kicks in, since I don't have like a switch or any way of knowing it. So, but she is super rich, but it is a 93 tune. So that's it for this video and see you guys in the next one.